Good morning, everyone. We're out here in Moab, Utah today. Just a few miles down from the tracks where I'm standing here, the trains carry contaminated uranium tailings to a secluded dump area out in the desert. When I looked up uranium mining, it said that uranium that was mined out there was barely radioactive. And I'm not quite sure what that means, but barely radioactive doesn't sound very good to me. So stay tuned and I'll let you know what I found out. Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night. The shot of love and the spark of love to be. Starts the light and the month I'm not burned like the ground I leave. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on, let's ride this train. We went by um, a project that was out here in Moab that piqued my curiosity, so I came back to camp and I looked at, uh, more on it. It's um, it's a uranium contamination area where. They had mined uh, uranium out here sometime in the uh, 50s and 60s, and it was the largest, um, it says it was the richest vein ever discovered at the time. And uh, it's the, this is the nation's largest uranium tailings pile. There's at least 16 million tons of uranium mine tailings that were produced by the Atlas Uranium Mine. And um, the uranium was used to uh, fuel the nuclear power plants and also nuclear munitions. It's a cleanup project now to help clean up all the contamination out here. There's empty containers that are loaded onto trucks in the contamination area. They're filled with roughly 40 tons of the contaminated uh, material. And then the containers are sealed they're placed on a survey rack where they're uh, checked for radioactivity and then they're decontaminated as necessary. The trucks then, they're transported up a hill and there's a 50-ton um, gantry crane that, uh, that places the containers on the rail cars and then uh, empty containers are taken off the inbound trains and then they're loaded um, onto trucks to return to the contamination area to be uh, delitted and prepared for refilling. The contamination material is taken to, it's transported by train, uh, Union Pacific, and they are, it's taken off a Crescent Junction siding and then when the containers are offloaded to an open area that's been engineered for uh, disposal and the storage site is uh, a mile long and 2,400 feet wide and it was designed to isolate the tailings for at least 200 years and up to a thousand years and I thought wow that's, that's crazy. Um, the project was started in 2009 and was expected to take 10 years but to date there's a uh, 54 percent complete so this project uh, it ships two trains a week and each train carries 136 containers, approximately 9,000 tons of contaminated material per week. So there you go. That's some interesting information out here in Moab, Utah. Oh.